There's no other place I'd rather be than Silent Hill. So I claim fans. Now we know. I'm just gonna kind of—I know where I need to go, but I'm just gonna kind of hit the town and explore a little bit. I don't normally explore much in this sequence. Let's go where I need to go. There is Buffalo. Oh, it says Buffalo Chiva. There's the fucking leaper thing. It's fucking skipping after me. I could skip too, but I might slow me down. It looks very happy to see me though. Locked. Just getting killed by a monster. Ignore me. They do a fair amount of damage. Now this stuff is open. Let's check out one side of the street, you know. FAA. I think I found the end. There's a building over here, which we need to go in later, but I'm not going to go into it right now. Save myself some time and pain from going in there. Let's just explore in the meantime. I think I lost them. I'm not going to stop running, though. That's never going to happen. Look at all these stores I'm just conveniently passing by. Like the Vivery. Wherever that is. This dead end street. I wouldn't have known this row was collapsed like most other roads in Silent Hill unless I took the time to check it out. The screen is really pulled far back from where it normally is. But who am out who am I to complain? Another dead end. But hey, I want to slide without a few dead ends. Got a couple more places to check. So I'm kind of skimming this area right now, to be honest. I fucking hit and run pterodactyl right there. Make that couple. Off I go. Mm -hmm. Check my map. I should be heading right towards the hospital right now, where I was. Alright, before I do that, I kind of want to check out this street. The dogs decide they want a little bit of loving too. Kind of going full circle here. That's how I roll. Another puppy. Time to see what's on this side of the street. It's a cafe. We gotta enjoy all the sights and sounds of Silent Hill. I think we just passed by some sort of either nice department store or theater. Open to you. So they claim. I don't think any of these buildings are really that openable, but there's a few different alleyways and a few different items to pick up here and there. To my knowledge, there are only four areas, five, that you can go to from here. The police station being. This is where I left the two mumblers earlier. Well, that's okay. They can hip and scotch and hip scotch them away right back over here, I guess. I'm having a fun marching band coming after me. One of the areas I can enter is right here. Let's go. I'll let Harry catch his breath here. I don't know how the stamina system works in this game. Maybe you take more damage when you're more tired and running too much. Lock is jammed, can't be open. I'm not quite sure because you don't can't don't stop running. That's not what it actually is the benefit here. There's a wire tower. There's no point to this location yet. Now, so I know about the police station, I know about this little rooftop area, I know of the hospital, I know the green line antique place. Outside of those locations, though, I'm not sure there's anywhere else to enter around here. Alright, only one more little area to explore, so yeah. I I start off by running on this side of the street. I reach the end of the block. I'm gonna switch off sides. Nice little construction zone we just passed. Cross back over. It's my favorite town, Silent Hill. I think I'm not going 35 miles per hour. There's a pterodactyl coming right in. Barely avoided. There's a little collection of tables. I was hoping to. Oh, the pterodactyl decided to f give fuck all and walk around. We just passed by an Asian food restaurant. 
Should be a dead end over here too, but I'm gonna check it out. Pterodactyl is like, okay, I'm done. Oh, jeez, that was a little bit too much flying, man. Decides so to sit down down next to me and enjoy himself at the restaurant. See, he was just going to the cafe. Why stop him? Now then, to where we actually need to go after running around in circles for a while. The hospital. We have to hear gunshots. Alcamelia Hospital. The yard's not safe, though. They got dogs. Ow. Well, to the building. And here we go. Our next main location. Let's one of these immediately. We're in a hospital. We'll probably find a ton of healing items. <laughs> right? Save my game there. Just to give myself a little bit of a push him up. Use her another gunshot. Information. Should probably check in with the staff, because if there's gunshots, it means likely there's somebody here, or at least a monster that's making a lot of gun noise. Check it out. Hold it! <gasps> Stop! Don't shoot! Wait! I'm not here to fight. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God. Another human being. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out, this time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? You and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... <sighs> sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife, she's here with you. She died four years ago. You now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. So long. Good luck out there. There we go, I mean the mysterious man Kaufman. He was also being pterodactyls, he wasn't eating them. But regardless, nothing helpful. Well, that means you're probably not a nurse there, Harry. There's a lot of helpful things in the hospital. Nothing unusual. A bed. The second door is where I want to go right now, though. Go through here, if I get a chance to. This little department. Just a little additional wing to the hospital. To check about different things. Creepy eerie sounds, nothing unusual, you say? Or so we claim. Anything on this chart? I want to see if I can actually observe it. There's a whiteboard, nothing special written here. How about the next area? First of all, a health pack. Which is useful, and the map. Here is the map of the hospital. Alright, I have that over here. I don't think we can save from this side, but that's okay. I just saved for a million years, so I'll be okay. I'll be fine. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Let me open this up. Last area to check. This door right here. 
lot of different bottles, nothing helpful. And I look at all the different filing cabinets, because apparently there's nothing helpful. How about the newspaper? We can read that. There is a newspaper. This article's been clipped out. Well, that's kind of odd. There's a whiteboard, nothing special, and out. Welcome to the hospital. The door is jammed, can't be opened. It's kind of a bad thing to have in the hospital. Have the convenient room locked off. In fact, hospitals are one of the most important places to make sure that most areas are accessible and easily accessible for any emergency situation. We go inside here. We'll see a variety of different things. I think this door is locked. No, it's not. My memory is incorrect. I'll take a glance over here and see if there's a key, though. I do, in fact, want the key. Basement key. Can use, can definitely use. Alright. There's a whiteboard, nothing special. There's a lot of whiteboards. The phone's out. Can't get a tile tone. So we claim. Now what's this? There is a hospital basement map. Take it. Why not? Even though it's kind of weird that the hospital basement has a separate map from the rest of the hospital, but whatever. Who am I to judge? Maybe they just don't want people going to the basement. Let's check over through here in the meantime. Nothing. That's a whole lot of nothing, actually. Still, nice. I guess this room was mainly for a map. And visuals. This was a pretty good looking game back in the day it came out in. I know it really, in some ways, hasn't stood the test of time in that area, but you know, it's still got appreciated. It's historical importance. Now, actually, there's an area, something that we need to do right here to go on one of the ending paths. I'm gonna pick this up. There is a plastic bottle. Take it. Yes. This plastic bottle is something that we actually need to get, do one of the two things, because Silent Hill has five different endings. One of the endings is a joke ending, but the other four endings we can get right now. I'm particularly aiming to go on one ending path, so I want to pick up this bottle at the moment. Let's get this health drink. There's a whiteboard, nothing special written here. And out. Still a few areas for us to check out. Now with our newfound bottle, let's go through this part. There's something important in this room. Now, if you didn't know what to do here, it could be a little bit difficult. Books are scattered around the desk, nothing else special here. Let's look at this. A glass vial lies shattered. It's not just broken, it looks smashed on purpose. However though, with the bottle that we just picked up, we can pick up the liquid. The remaining liquid is empty into the plastic bottle. Now, what have we here? Let's look. Unknown liquid. Red liquid found in a broken vial in the hospital director's room. This is one of the two things that you need to do to choose which ending path you're going on, besides the joke ending, which you can only get on the second playthrough. Besides the joke ending, there are four regular endings, and there are two points in the game where you need to do something, or you need, there's two different side quests that you need to do in order to get uh, the uh, two, uh, four different possible endings, basically. Door is jammed, can't be opened. Elevator doesn't appear to be working. That's because there's no power, right? The elevator doesn't appear to be working. Yep, so to the basement we go. Let's roll. Use the basement key. Deeper and we go. <laughs> to the basement key. Let's pray that's what we're looking for. We're not alone. Doors jammed. Another part of the elevator here. Oh, it's cockroaches. Okay, I have to deal with those. Doors jammed. Well, here's something. It's a generator. Let me look at this. Or I would look at this, but I'm not able to seem to manage to do anything here. There's not much to do here. Back out. Let's check you out. Lock is jammed. Lock. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure there's something which I need to do in the generator room. 
This generator room is this one, so yeah. I probably just missed the queue or whatever I'm supposed to do to get this working. Hmm. For some reason I'm having a dip in my memory here. I remember turning the generator on. Maybe we just can't do that yet. Maybe that is physically impossible for ourselves. Lock is jammed. Maybe I can reach the elevator from here? Hmm. My memory is a bit at a loss what I'm supposed to be doing here. I recall turning the generator on. That was obviously not working right there. What? Oh, what was I supposed to be doing here? Elevator doesn't appear to be working. I know this. Oh, wait, maybe I was just. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, I'm not thinking correctly. I might have missed an item somewhere. Let me try in here. Maybe there's something I need to pick up somewhere. Maybe I'm right. Books are scattered around the desk. Nothing else special here. I'm gonna investigate a few things to make sure I didn't accidentally miss something. For some reason, I don't remember this step though. I remember the bottle more than I remember what I'm supposed to be doing. That's kind of silly. This door is locked. I'm checking out. We've already been in here, we got the basement key from there. This is the kitchen, we already got the stuff we needed from there. There's nothing else in here, so it has to be in the basement. I mean, we haven't done anything in the basement. There's a generator, and I assume that, and I remember that's what I need to turn on. All the other doors appear to be locked. So there's just something I'm missing in here. Why is my flashlight off? I not think of it. Maybe I need my flashlight on. That's all I need to do, I'm gonna fucking laugh at myself. I'm gonna laugh at myself, that's what I need to do. Fucking A. The in-house generator powers elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. Do you want to press the switch? Yes. The generator is on. The generator makes also a terrifying noise. This is literally the sound of the generator. Doesn't that sound fucking terrifying? I think it sounds fucking terrifying. Well, out we go. Here we go, elevator time. We can go to floor two? Exit sesame. A lock is jammed and cannot be opened. Not sure what that nurse poster is saying, or this poster in front of me, but they're posters, alright. This area is locked. Nothing to do there then. What's next? Floor three. Next stop, we have. Another locked door. Different posters. Oh, but there's the same poster. Let's go back inside. Well. None of the floors worked, but suddenly and mysteriously, a fourth floor has appeared. I wonder where that floor came from. Might as well go, right? I think that was a pre-rendered cutscene. It had a worse graphical quality than the other cutscenes in the game. I've never really noticed that before. Still though, something about this floor of the hospital's looking a little bit off, but I can't say myself. The door behind us just locked. Yep. In fact, all these doors appear to be locked. Let's take out right now at the very least. Well, might as well make our descendants cross into the hospital. Locked, you don't say. Those are even locked. They look like the nice fancy doors, you know. But these are probably open. Things certainly getting darker around here. Locked. 
locked, and the door behind us just got locked again. It's locked. Well, into the darkness we go. Staircase? Why not? We're gonna work our way down. We're gonna start with floor three. So let's do this. Watch out. New enemies, as you can see. They've got a weird pulsating parasite on their back, but they look like nurses. Carefully walk this way. Certainly is a wasteful restroom, at the least. But there's something right here. There is a plate of turtle. Take it. Do you guys like turtles? I like turtles. There you go, a turtle right on out. Let's go on to the next. That actually surprised me. What was that? I don't even know. Still though, back out. I'm going to ignore that nurse. How about this next door? Locked this jam. This one's open. Taking a lot of twists and turns around here. Is that wall supposed to look like a uterus diagram? Uh, regardless, gonna move over this way. There's another door right here for us. Oh, hi! Just whacking nurses at the moment. Don't care if you get some hits on me. It's one nurse down for the count. Dead as dead. I have three of these at the moment. I use one of them at the moment. So that kind of sets us in a big old loop around. I guess I'll explore this hallway first because I'm in the neighborhood. There's a save station set there. And a TV. VCR. It's old but usable. And shotgun shells, and not much else. Uh, well, I will take a moment to save my game. I'll have a little bit of advantage here. Save here. Alright. To the next, to the next. Back to the rest of the hallway, after all. I forgot the enemies sometimes regenerate in this game, and they're not really worth my time if that's the case. Go through you. This is not really worth it. It's like the opposite of worth it. You know what? I'm gonna fucking waste shotgun shells right here. Actually, no, I'll just use handgun. Well, that works. Let's read this. A steel plate. It's screwed to the wall. We might need a screwdriver. Alright, reload this, use... I just went the opposite way I should have gone there. I'm gonna keep the steel pipe out though. Long range, but limited for use, but better than nothing. Alright, over here we have a health pack. Convenient. I'm hoping enemies stay dead in this game, but I have this bad feeling. The enemy in here is alive again, I'm gonna fucking scream. I could get this one stayed dead. Easy enough to avoid. Let's go through here. This door is in fact open. A few different things to see in this little rusty area. Check the different areas. There's a bottle filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. Harry knows he wants it. Nothing helpful. Here's something that will be helpful though. A blood pack. I shall indeed take it. Thank you very much. And let's see, I think there's something else. Yep, a med pack right over here. Let me pick that up. First aid pack. You know I will. It's going out. This area is locked though. It's jammed locked, so we know it's good, good. Or good as done, or whatever it is I'm trying to think of right now. Just a couple nurses, you know, why not? Door is locked. I'm actually going to try to do the whole flip around, switch around. 
technique is to try and learn enemies down one pathway so you go down the other. Now that's unlocked, leads to the elevator. Jam is locked. There is another door which I want to go into in here. Look at all these bloodied beds. We have another one of these talisman type things that we can get here. There is a plate of cat, so turtle and cat. Take it. I'm going to see if you guys who don't know this can figure out what these plates are related to. So far we have turtle and cat. Let's go back across. Can't use the elevator. Yep, I just want to get away from the enemies. If I'm fast, I can avoid this one. Yep, did it. Perfect. We'll come back to this floor later after we got screwdriver. So floor three, we need a screwdriver. Let's go down to floor two. All the different floors to explore right now, you see. Next up, floor two. Be careful, just a few nurses here. I think both these are locked, so I'm not going to bother with them right now. Lock is jammed. Lock is jammed. This one's open now. Something weird in this room. Something weird indeed. Word to the wise, you probably don't want to attack the spaghetti monster. So, let me see if I can observe it from here. Can't. There's something which we can do here though, it's drinking blood as we can clearly see. Blood pack. Two milliliters blood pack found in the hospital storage room. Use. There you go. No spaghetti monsters to attack us today. We get to the plate of Hatter. I think this one makes it really obvious what these plates are in reference to. Alright, let's go on back. Nothing over there for me. Alright, there is one thing in here though. Got things to check out regardless. A note. Clouds flowing over a hill, sky on a sunny day, tangerines that are bitter, lucky four leaf clover, violets in the garden, dandelions along a path, unavoidable sleeping time, liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. It's locked. There's a design here for different plates. Collect all six. That's more like eight. So four square annotations. We only need four though. It's by the fact that there's more. Well, you'll see when we get to it. There's eight in all, but four that we need to collect. We actually only need one more to go. We almost have them all. So the floor one now. Let's do it. That's a new sound. So I'm gonna do the same old routine of checking things though. Let's see what's coming towards us and what's causing the sound. It's closer. Here it is, it's a doctor, like a male doctor. There's another one. I could just found out if I went through this door. I diverted into the right place unintentionally, so. Music kicking in. We have some hanging bolts. I'm not complaining. Nothing helpful? Ah, that's what you say. That's what you think, more like it. This one was open too. Well, I thought it might be, because I think that there's supposed to be. a window. That's exactly what I was expecting. Not really. Well, this room is very helpful. Fuck it. Got me. Even though I thought it was gonna happen, I was like, ah, okay, I guess we're good, but then fucking shatter sounds. I guess I just really like spaying from on the windows from the outside. Let's go. Hello, doctor. I actually wanna go in here at the moment. You know what? Because you're kind of in an annoying position where I am right now. Oh, 
Well, that could have gone a lot better, but could also gone a lot worse. Use that. Greenish yellow, I can work with that. There's my handgun. Equip that, and equip this. This gets one of the more annoying ones out of my way. What's this across the wall? It's one of those whiteboards, but all bloodied. Well, there you go. Nothing unusual. Indeed, nothing unusual if we're going to listen to your words. There's a newspaper here, but it's gone now. A sound is heard from beyond the door. So it's locked, but we heard a sound. We need a key. Okay. Works for me. Also, yes, if you're sort of noticing, there is a parasite on the back of the doctors. I think it's interesting attention to detail. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was having so much fun running around circles. The hospital's alive again. I'm waste this doctor for a moment. Just a few bullets there, but I can work with that. Reload. Health drink. I say it was worthwhile exchange. Refrigerator is empty. There's not really much more else in here for us, though. Still nice to have this room cleared, though. Two more doctors decide to make my business their business. It's like a doctor's in real life. What's in here? Ah, the last piece that we need. Fucking windows. Alright, the last piece that we need, the play of the queen. So save here. I would like to save here. Thank you for asking. So that gives us all four of the slates that we need. We can go back up to the third floor now. I'm going to finish exploring this area to be a completionist. There's a basement for us to go into down as well. Might as well explore the basement while we're in the neighborhood, right? This door is now open, so that's good. The body is out of bed. Don't feel like checking this out. My body is out of bed. There's some healing items for us right here. Thankfully, this one doesn't seem to be... Okay, use the first aid spray. Not first aid spray, fucking health drink. Do not want to use that, I'm happy I thought about that one for a second. Bullets going a little bit lower, so I might want to switch weapons soon. There, pick this up. There's also an ampule over here, which is why this drink was worth it. Two healing items. Don't want to skip on that, it's worth a few bullets, maybe a little bit of damage. If you leave more with what you come in with, then you're doing pretty okay, I think. Locked. Ah, Jesus. Hey, I got this man to shake both of them off. I wasn't actually expecting that. The generator is on. Here is also a pickaxe or hammer. Which is a new melee weapon for us. I can hammer all these bitches and hit them with them. I think this door's locked. Let's see how this works. It works pretty effectively. Come over here! You can't move when you have this pulled out, though. Like, you can't move when you are in aiming mode. This can kill some weapons. There you go! See, it's very effective against doctors and nurses and probably any other living things. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give myself a bit of an easy way here. I'll take the elevator to the third floor. It looks like a pickaxe to me, so I think it's a pickaxe, but hey, it's called a hammer. So what do I know? That was a little bit of a weird sound thing there. Now, to here. Oh. 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 
And this makes these really easy to fight. Maybe I kick it down while it's down. And I just have to kick it while it's down. To the next. Not where I meant to go, really, but I can work with this because it'll lead me back to where I'm going. Oh, I know it's the area with the locked door. Never mind. I got my hopes up for nothing. One of the enemies decided to regenerate, but that's okay. Sometimes there's multi enemies. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, take it while it's down. There you go, it's dead, dead. I have to remember, you have to make sure that all the blood's out of it before you actually do anything. Do I have something that could open up the screw box area? Probably not. So I'm gonna go this way now. 